as a CIO, I would say um, what I need to focus on and, and, and what I apply my energy to is, first of all, talent. Do we have the right people? I'm a strong believer in the Jim Collins saying, you know, get the right people on the bus, and if you've got the right people on the bus and they're, and they're in the right seats, in other words, you've got the right talent in the right roles, they can take care of vision and strategy and innovation and all of the things that you may wrestle with. And if you don't have the right people or they're not in the right roles and they're not in a structure that is um, going to enable them to be successful, I think you're fighting an uphill battle. So each time I've come into an organization, and I've been in a few IT organizations, I tend to spend about six months on structure and I spend a lot of time on talent. And then the third area I would spend time on is culture. And how do you get the right behaviors, the right incentives in place, um, you know, to bring life to the, the talent and the structure? Because structure on its own doesn't get you too far. Talent gets you a long way. But if you've got a, you know, an entrenched culture and you, you have the right talent, your culture can still be an impediment. I think the second thing I'd say is whether you're a CIO or whatever your position is, I think business is all about relationships. Even today with email and you know social media and our ability to, to maybe not um, see people face to face as much as, as we would have in the past, I, I think if you really want to get business done in an organization, you need to have a strong network um, at a peer level and also up and down the organization you need people who are, are going to feed you ideas and people who are going to be honest to you about the issues. So that would be the other um, thing I'd say is uh, I think Colin Powell had a saying that, you know, the day people stop bringing you trouble, you're in trouble. It was something like that. But his intent was, you know, if you've become remote and, and disengaged and, and detached from especially people more junior than you, and they feel they can't bring you bad news, then that's the beginning of the end. And so that strong network up and down across the organization is something I'd, I'd put a lot of time into. And then the third thing is, you know, just the extension of that is have a strong network outside the organization. So you've got other CIOs, other IT leaders, but also other business leaders, people in completely different industries, trying to do different things. It might make your brain hurt sometimes as to why are they trying to do that? But sometimes you get a new insight from, from those conversations that can really be the innovation for your own business model.